In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a vignette effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. In, for different ways. Adding a vignette effect to your clips in Premiere Pro is a straightforward process. Here's how to do it. Select the clip you want to add the vignette effect to. Go to the color panel section. Or you can just search Lumetri color effect and apply to your clip. If any panels or windows are missing in your workspace, you can easily recover them by going to the window menu and selecting the specific panel or window you need. Scroll down to the vignette effect and apply it to your clip. Vignette effect has four parameters that you can adjust to customize the look of your vignette. The amount parameter controls the intensity of the vignette effect. Decreasing the value will create a dark vignette around the edges of your image, while increasing it will result in a white vignette. Setting it to zero will effectively turn the effect off. The midpoint parameter determines how far the vignette extends into the image. Decreasing the value will push the vignette closer to the edges, making it less visible, while increasing it will make the vignette more prominent and take up more of the frame. The roundness parameter controls the shape of the vignette. Increasing the value will make the vignette more circular, while decreasing it will make it more square. The feather parameter adjusts the softness of the vignette's edges. Increasing the value will create a softer, more gradual transition between the vignette and the rest of the image, while decreasing it will result in sharper, more defined edges. Let's begin by importing a clip into the timeline and creating an adjustment layer. Ensure the adjustment layer matches the timeline's frame rate. Drag the adjustment layer to the timeline, aligning its duration with the clip. Navigate to the Effects panel and search for the circle effect. By the way, you can directly apply to your clip without adjustment layer, but I'm gonna apply to the adjustment layer. In the Effects Controls panel, locate the circle effect and change the blending mode to stencil alpha. Adjust the radius of the circle to create a subtle vignette effect. Fine-tune the vignette by increasing the feather amount until the desired effect is achieved. Experiment with feather values between 500 and 600 to find the optimal look for your project. Toggle the vignette effect on and off to preview the impact. Once satisfied, play through the clip to review the final result. To play with color, change your blend mode to normal. First, invert your circle layer. Then, pick any color from the clip. In this example, I'm choosing an orange color. Adjust the opacity as desired. The other adjustments remain the same. If you're not satisfied with the results, feel free to change them. Let's start by importing a clip directly into the timeline without using an adjustment layer. Navigate to the Effects panel and locate the Brightness and Contrast effect. You can either drag and drop it onto your clip or double-click to apply the effect. Adjust the Brightness and Contrast values as needed and consider adding an ellipse mask. Let's invert the mask. Experiment with the mask's expansion, feather, and opacity settings until you achieve the desired result. Alternatively, you can use RGB curve effect instead of brightness and contrast. Manipulate the curves to adjust the color and contrast of your clip. Follow the same process of adding an ellipse mask and fine tune its parameters to enhance your video further. So if you're ready to unlock your creativity and elevate your editing skills, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.